I'm going to let a few more people um, get on. I have some some information for you guys. It takes a lot for me to talk. So I'm gonna have to I'm going to be pausing in between my words. So, sometimes I may have to speak real, real fast during my, during my breaths. So, this morning, this morning, I'm okay, Bernadette. It's too hard to explain, so I'ma, I'ma say it. I'm, trust me. I'm getting plenty of rest. Rest will kill you. So I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to rest a lot. So this morning. The CDC called me because all of my COVID tests Bear with me. I'm sorry. Okay. So, this morning, <clears throat> the CDC called me. And they asked me. They already had my information. I guess from the hospital where I work because apparently since I've been at work six or seven people have died with what I have all three of my COVID tests are negative. But I have all the symptoms of COVID. But they're calling it an unknown pneumonia. I have bilateral pneumonia. I have it in all, in both my lungs. So, they was trying to convince me to go in and to be put on a ventilator. So that I can, so that they can help me breathe. This new this new strand of coronavirus is an unknown pneumonia, and you won't test positive for any COVID test that they run 
You have fever, muscle aches, cramps. My joints are locking up. But I keep myself hydrated. I have. I have oxygen. I try not to use it unless I really have to. And I have IV fluids that I can self. Administer to myself. So, <clears throat> on that note, the reason for this video is to let you guys know don't follow this little trend. With this mass thing, this 5G strip, and this mask, so you won't wear a mask. Don't be silly, y'all. Wear your mask. I work at a hospital, one of the biggest. One of, one of the biggest hospitals here. I wear my masks. I wear my PPEs. But you have people that come in the hospital and bring that stuff in when they know they've been around COVID patients. Today, when I came from the hospital, our hospital is jam-packed, more than what it's been. But the CDC is saying that this is a new strand. Listen, I, I, I tried to look it up when I got off. When I got off the phone with them, and I see what they're talking about, but they're just not talking about it. So they said this is way more deadlier than coronavirus. I know y'all saying you need to be in the hospital. You need to be in the hospital, but yeah, how to understand. I have a 15 year old daughter. So that's my fight. I have two sons. That's my fight. My fight. So I can't afford to be in the, in the hospital. So I'm going to get off here. So I can. get my breathing back but you guys please 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 stay from around people your test is going to and the type of person I fight I fight hard I 
I've been off for a month. And I'm going to stay off until I get better. But I promise you, you guys, just bag me up. Keep me in your prayers. And stay safe and please. Don't go around anybody if you don't have to. Because you can call the CDC. I asked them I asked them if I could share that information. Even if they said no. You know I'm going to do it. <laughs> so. Last note. There's a new strand. And it's more deadlier. Than the coronavirus. And it's here. Wear your PPEs. Wear your masks. Don't be around people if you don't have to, y'all. I love you guys. Keep me. <laughs> Keep me in your prayers. And stay safe. <laughs> and stay blessed.